Thomas Felder. I'm a professor and a co-director of the Heart Center Leipzig. Uh, Leipzig is a little bit one hour south of Berlin um, and it's um, Europe's biggest heart center. Uh, we perform around 3,800 heart procedures uh, each year in nine ORs. Um, and uh, we are reference centers, especially for minimally invasive uh, surgery and innovative techniques. So minimally invasive surgery is not a, um, 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 a term which has a precise definition. So any minimal invasive um, procedure means that it's uh, less harmful for the patient. So um, it can either be um, a procedure, a heart procedure, where you are not rely on the heart-lung machine, so that you perform the procedure like bypass surgery on the beating heart, or it can also mean that um, you have a limited access, which um, enables the patient after surgery uh, to recover much quicker. So um, minimum invasive surgery with a limited access, for example, means minimum invasive mitral surgery, so we don't have to open the chest. Uh, you access the mitral valve from the right chest side through a limited incision. And it can also mean that you um, access the aortic valve, for example, through a partial opening of the chest on the front and not complete opening. So these um, kind of procedures allow the patient to recover much quicker and get out of hospital much, much faster. Procedure in TAVI stands for transaortic valve implantation. So basically you have a um, diseased aortic valve, the majority is stenosis or combined stenotic and insufficient valve, where you don't replace the valve, you leave it in place, but you insert a new valve with different techniques so that the mechanism of this valve is um, a renewed, let's say. And the excess is, in the majority of cases, either via the groin. So you have special equipment, and you perform these procedures in, in a, usually in a hybrid OR, which we call, which is a mixture of a cath lab and a normal OR. Or you insert these valves via a small incision on the rest, left chest side through the apex of the left heart. And then um, these procedures are routinely done in cooperation with cardiologists who have the kind of catheter skills from the cath lab and the surgeons who have the surgical skills. So we can uh, perform this procedures to, procedure together and deal with potential risk, which became very, very low within the last couple of years. So the TAVI technology has um, um, improved dramatically. And in Germany, for example, the overall number of all isolated um, aortic valve procedures uh, has been very stable, about 11,000 cases per year. But uh, the number of TAVI procedures um, has increased to being more than 50% of all our aortic valve procedures these days. So in our hospital, for example, we perform up to six or eight TAVI procedures each day. Well, a good catheter department, um, for example, for aortic valve surgery, needs to offer the patient a whole range of, of uh, techniques uh, to get an individualized approach to each patient. So each patient has different risk, um, life expectancy, um, comorbidities, and expectations. And you need to have the whole portfolio to individualize um, the patient's treatment to decrease the overall risk with the maximum of, of treatment options. And uh, I understand that Sydney Adventist Hospital offers all these kind of approaches, which specifically include TAVI procedures through different access, transfemoral through the groin, all the uh, left ventricular apex, and also minimally invasive aortic valve procedures um, with different kind of novel developed aortic valve types. Yeah. So being a visiting professor doesn't mean that I try to um, um, get my knowledge about minimal invasive surgery and my expertise from Leipzig Heart Center, which is probably world leading here to this hospital. Um, we would like to support with this kind of procedure of the hospital here. And we already plan to bring teams which in, 
includes the surgeon, the scrub nurse and the perfusionist to our center and, and share the expertise and, and the potential um, the benefits and, and techniques. Thank you.